Hi, it's Jodie. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be teaching one of Moshe Feldman Kreis's most important lessons, the pelvic clock. And in particular, I'm teaching a variation developed by my wonderful teacher, Ruthie, Ruthie Allon, that uses either a pair of socks, or if you've got a long sock, you can use a single sock. And you'll need to roll it up into a kind of ball or a kind of donut or ring shape by just rolling it, the single sock or the pair of socks, just rolling them over and over like you're folding them up until you end up with a kind of ring or donut shaped spongy ball. And then lie down on your mat with a folded towel or a pillow under your head if you need it and get yourself comfortable, ready for the lesson. So we're going to start today with a short body scan. So just close your eyes and let your attention drop into the body. Just allow the whole body to sink its weight down into the floor or mat. Just notice the space on the inside of the body that's taken up by the breathing. Now, let's scan through the body together, starting with the contact of the back of the head with the supporting surface. The two shoulder blades, feeling down the length of the two arms, just noticing the contact all the way down to the fingertips. Just observing which places are touching the mat and which are lifted off. And then feeling the contact of the two shoulder blades themselves. And noticing the space in between the shoulder blades. Is it lifted off the floor or is it resting against the floor? Which parts of the spine and ribs can you feel to be resting on the floor behind? And now scanning down, noticing where the lower ribs are at the back and whether they're resting on the floor or lifted off. Feeling into the small of the back, the arch of the lower back and noticing whether you're supported there or whether that part is lifted away from the floor. And then paying particular attention to the back of the pelvis today. The contact of the two pelvic bones and buttocks with the floor and feeling into the sacrum, which is that bone that sits in between the two pelvic bones, above the tailbone and below the lower back. Does the weight there feel like it's spread out, comfortable and even, or do you feel more pressure on one spot? Perhaps the pelvis is a little bit tilted to the left or right and you might feel more pressure on one side. And now see if you can feel where is the front of the pelvis. You can put your hands there for a moment if you like. See if you can get a kind of three-dimensional sense of the pelvis where you, where you can feel the pelvic crests at the front and then the back of the pelvis on the floor behind. And having sensed the pelvis, continue the scan down through the backs of the thighs, feeling any contact with the floor the thigh muscles, the calf muscles, and the two heels. And overall, get a sense of your length from the crown of the head to the soles of the feet. Now, please bend the knees and stand the feet one at a time on the floor. Put the feet comfortably apart and now take your socks, lift the pelvis up a little bit and place the socks under the sacrum, the bone we talked about a few moments ago, the one that's just above the tailbone and below the lower back. And now very, very gently start to tilt the pelvis a little bit down and forward, pushing the abdomen out slightly and then tilt it a little bit backwards and upwards, drawing the 
abdomen in tightly. And again, rolling the pelvis down and forward over the socks. And then upwards and backwards. And I'm going to just remove this small cushion under my head. I feel it's getting in the way of my head movement. So you do the same if you like, or you can keep something underneath your head if that's more comfortable for you. Let's just try those movements again, gently doing a tiny motion upwards and backwards and downwards and forwards and just noticing which direction is easier for you. If necessary, adjust the position of the socks so it's equally easy in the two directions. Up and back down and forward, slowly and gently. And as you tilt the pelvis, feel how the rest of the body responds. Each time you tilt the pelvis up and back, ground the feet into the floor, pressing slightly. Each time you roll downwards and forwards, release the belly into fullness and openness. Can you find a way to combine these movements with the breathing so that they kind of flow together and synchronize? Close the eyes if you like. Now, come to rest, and we're going to imagine that you're lying on the face of a clock, and the number 12 is somewhere up near the back of your waistline, and the number 6 is down somewhere below your tailbone. Again, repeat the movement of tilting the pelvis up and back. Stay there for a moment. We're going to call that number 12 on the pelvic clock. And now, Return to the movement of rolling the pelvis downwards and forwards and expanding the abdomen. We're going to call that number six on the pelvic clock. Repeat the rolling up and down a few times, very gently, not doing your maximum. Allowing the whole of the rest of the body to soften and respond to the tilting motions of the pelvis. Now lift the pelvis up and remove the socks. Stretch your legs down long for a moment. Just notice your awareness of the pelvis now. Has anything changed in your contact with the floor? One more time. Bend your knees. Expand the feet. Lift the pelvis a little bit and place the socks in the centre under the sacrum. And this time we're going to imagine that the number three on the clock is somewhere over near your left side of your pelvis and the number nine is over near the right side of the pelvis or buttock. Slowly tilt the pelvis a little bit left and a little bit right. Don't move the knees too much. The knees can move a small amount but you're moving from the pelvis, not from the knees. Just begin to allow your head to roll a very small amount in the same direction that the pelvis is moving. So when the pelvis tilts right to number nine, the head rolls a little bit right. And when the pelvis tilts left to number three, the head rolls a little bit left. And continue those movements a few cycles slowly and evenly, as smoothly as you can. Notice how you're breathing and let go of any unnecessary tension in the eyes, in the chest, in the jaw. back to the center and now for a few times let's try the opposite 
and the pelvis tilts left, number three, roll the head a little bit right. And when the pelvis tilts to the right, roll the head a little bit left. Can you soften your chest so that the ribs can respond to this movement? Feel how it creates a subtle twist along the length of the torso, including through the chest and ribs. Come back to the middle, lift the pelvis up a tiny amount and remove the sock. Stretch your legs down long and feel your contact with the floor again. Take a few moments just to do nothing, just to let yourself breathe and feel the rest. What's your awareness like now of the whole pelvic region? Now, when you're ready, we'll return to some movements on the socks. So bend the knees one at a time. Place the socks underneath the sacrum. And this time, we're going to try going all the way around the clock. That means tilt the pelvis a little bit upwards and backwards to number 12. Roll it around to the left and stop for a moment at number 3. Tilt the pelvis down and forward as you bring it back to the middle. And that's number six, with the belly protruding forward. Roll a little to the right and reduce the tilting to come to number nine, over on the right hand side of the clock. And then roll the pelvis backwards and upwards and come back to the center, number 12 again. Now. Go all the way around again, noticing when you get to each of those four numbers, three, six, nine, and twelve. And again, three, six, nine, and twelve. Going as smoothly and evenly as you can, reverse the direction. 12 to number 9, 6, 3, and 12. Can you allow your head to roll in the same direction? 9, 6, 3, and 12. Come back to the center of the clock and remove the socks. Stretch your legs down long and take another rest. Notice your contact with the floor now, especially under the back of the pelvis. Now, bend the knees and stand the feet on the floor again. This time, don't put the socks under. Tilt the pelvis upwards and backwards. Feel the feet grounding into the floor as you do that. And just notice if you have more awareness of not only the movements of the pelvis, but the connection of the feet and the pelvis to the whole of the rest of the body. And now a few times, tilt the pelvis left and right. How does that movement go now? Without the socks. You can return to this pelvic clock lesson any time you're feeling tension around the pelvis or you just want to clarify where your pelvis is in space. The pelvis is so important because it's the seat of power in the body. The largest muscles in the body are attached there. So getting more awareness and more precision in the movements of the pelvis can be tremendously helpful. Thanks for visiting my channel and don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to. Bye for now.